Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. And today in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can run Rocket Chat in a Docker. So, you know, what we are going to do in this tutorial is like uh, Rocket Chat is a software, okay? So, I will uh, tell you more about what it is in the uh, next slide, okay? So, what we are going to do is we are going to create a Docker container for Rocket Chat uh, in this uh, section, okay? So, we'll be using a Docker Compose file and we'll be creating the services for uh, to run the Rocket Chat, which have a MongoDB database on the backend and also. Uh, the bot uh, for Rocket Chat. Okay, so if you don't know what is Rocket Chat, uh, no, uh, to give you some information before we start. So Rocket Chat is is a team collaboration or a communication platform. Okay, so it's almost uh, similar to uh, the Slack. So uh, the difference is Rocket Chat is an open source uh, software. Okay, so this is a good alternative to Slack. So if somebody is using Slack, and if you want to have an in-house uh, uh, rocket chat you can uh, uh, set up uh, uh, using docker or you know set up on your uh, server so you can uh, configure it so the benefit of rocket chat is you have endless uh, possibilities of customization integration and you can also have a uh, security okay and as i said you can have a self-managed or a cloud uh, instance of rocket chat so you can have you know set up your own rocket chat for your enterprise and you can create you know the channels and you can do the communication using rocket chat if you want to find an alternative for slack or ms teams uh, those kind of software okay so before i get into how to set up rocket chat on uh, docker uh, i would request you to subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel or if you have not done yet and uh, kindly like this video share and comment so if i go to rocket uh, dot chat uh, the website this is the official website for rocket chat you can go through it uh, the content over here okay so we are not going to go through what this we are we are going to do is we are going to jump into directly to our uh, docker machine okay so this is my docker node okay so if i see i don't have uh, any containers running okay so what we are going to do is we are going to run a you no know, docker compose uh, up command and i'll be using the docker compose yaml file uh, to create the uh, rocket chat instance okay so if i go to this uh, docker compose uh, documentation from rocket chat so it's a straightforward simple two commands so you just need to uh, get the docker uh, compose.yaml file from the github okay so uh, if you go to the rocket chat github you know you can see the whole uh, files over here so what we're going to do is we're going to clone this docker compose yaml file and we are going to use docker compose up so what it will do is it will start a mongodb service and also it will create a rocket chat service okay so you can uh, create a rocket chat user and password after that and you can also create a, a you know a bot uh, from the rocket chat so we are not going to do uh, the bot in this tutorial okay i will show you how to uh, configure the rocket chat so the first step is you just need to or run the curl command to download the compose.yml file okay so let me run this command uh, sorry it's not docker compose.yml i need to run the curl command so let me run the curl command okay so what it will do is it will download the docker compose.yml file so if i go here you have the docker compose yaml file so let me read that so you can see it's a complete uh, docker compose uh, ml file you can have you can see the service for rocket chat okay and you can also see the mongodb uh, service right and uh, the rocket chat is depending upon the mongodb uh, database right and the port is uh, 3000 okay and we have traffic uh, on the back end so you can use also use domain uh, if you want to use okay so since i'm using uh, default uh, local host i'm not going to use uh, any domain Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, Docker Compose up and uh, hyphen D. Okay. So if you don't have uh, the images for uh, Rocket Chat or MongoDB, it will take uh, some time to download uh, these images. Uh, I have already downloaded it, so you know you can see it's uh, completed the whole process very quickly. Okay. Now if I go to Docker P, as you can see the service is running for rocket chat uh, mongodb uh, right 
So now what we can do is we in order to access uh, Rocket Chat, you need to access it uh, using the IP address or localhost and the port 3000. Okay, so let me go to the browser. So uh, for me, the IP address is uh, this one and the 3000. So you can see the Rocket Chat is up. Okay. So I have uh, logged in with my user ID and password. So uh, since I have already set up this one, I know it did not ask for me uh, for creating the account. But if you are uh, doing it for the first time, it will ask you to enter the uh, details like you need to enter your username, you need to create a password for it, you can set up your organization, uh, what kind of uh, uh, communication you want to do. Uh, you know what is your uh, organization doing like it's an IT or you can select those options and once you do that it will create uh, the login okay so then you can log in and then you can create channel here so I have a create a new channel called test okay and you can also control all your uh, details in the administration like if you want to add more users you can do it here for now I have created a, a simple user called K okay and it's uh, name is uh, the username is admin okay and the password i have set you can do the integrations here so you can you have all the options you have rooms here so you can create all those details over here okay so it is a pretty simple step you just need to download the docker compose yaml file from rocket chat and you can just need to run docker compose up okay so you don't have to worry much about uh, what is the content of the docker compose because it's already configured from there and but if you want to configure using uh, on your domain or something, then you'll have to change some setting inside the Docker Compose YAML file. Okay. So, but this is a very interesting tool. Okay. So I just want to show you as the basics over here. Uh, I'll be trying to do probably more uh, in the upcoming uh, tutorial. So this will uh, be a very good uh, communication software which you can set up in your uh, enterprise environment, which you can use it for. Uh, lot of uh, collaborative communication you can create on channels you can communicate uh, you know with uh, your uh, colleagues okay if you have seen my uh, one of the tutorial with slack we have shown how to integrate with jenkins where you can send notification and all those things so you can set up your in-house uh, uh, rocket chat and you can do uh, similar kind of things as well and i think you also have an option to create bots as well in rocket chat so you can use that as well uh, you know I'll be linking all these um, uh, descriptions uh, in my video description. These uh, web pages, I'll uh, link it in the video description so you can go through it. Okay, and also the GitHub if you uh, want, you can. I'll also link that as well. Okay, so you can go through all these details, and I'm sure it will be it will be helpful for you. So uh, I just want to show you this uh, new information which I was able to gather, and I, it was one of our requests uh, when I asked how what. Uh, Next, we wanted to use it uh, application to be running on Docker. So Rocket Chat was one of the requests by a lot of people who has asked. Okay. So I hope uh, this uh, tutorial is informative for you, and uh, I thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel, like this video, share, and comment.